Good evening. Thanks for joining us. One man has been killed in what appears to be a random, unprovoked attack in downtown Vancouver. The rampage began just moments before another man was stabbed, his hand severed. The grisly scene unfolded in broad daylight by the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. That's where we find CTV's Ben Milger, who's covering the story tonight. Ben, it didn't take long for police to make an arrest. Me Jung, police had a man in custody just about an hour after this violent rampage began, but not before another man was attacked and killed on the plaza of the Queen Elizabeth Theatre just near the entrance in behind me. Before we get into this report, a warning for our viewers. Some of the details are graphic and disturbing. Police say the horrific violence began just after 7.30 a.m. when a man was attacked near Holy Rosary Cathedral. Investigators could be seen examining the steps and the area around the front door of the church. Homicide investigators arrived at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre shortly after 9. That is where a second victim, killed just minutes after the first attack, lay deceased beneath a police tent. Police are speaking with a number of witnesses and gathering as much security and cell phone video as they can. That will take a while to compile all of that. So we will obviously during the investigation develop a timeline and get witness statements and, and you know paint a picture of what happened. A trail of blood drops led from the church around the corner and onto Homer Street where a large pool of blood and bloody towels could be seen on the sidewalk. Police say the attacker used a knife on the first victim who survived but had his entire hand severed in the attack. Police have not said how they believe the second man was killed or if a weapon was used. I can't confirm what his fatal injuries were. That's part of the investigation, and uh, our homicide detectives are still working on that. As officers flooded the downtown core looking for the attacker, people reported a threatening man acting erratically at Habitat Island on the other side of False Creek. Something seemed off, and my wife and I both uh, kind of commented and said, man, let's just leave this guy alone. There's something there's something up with him. Police say that's where they located and arrested the 34-year-old suspect from White Rock. No charges have been laid yet, and that is why CTV News is blurring the man's face in this social media video. I also want to um, commend the VPD uh, for uh, apprehending uh, the perpetrator as quickly as they did. Their swift actions, make no mistake about it, prevented further harm from happening. According to VPD, the suspect has a lengthy criminal history, including convictions for assault and assault causing bodily harm. He was on probation at the time of his arrest. We have not yet confirmed whether there is a motive for today's attacks or what that motive is, and we are investigating the possibility that mental health was a contributing factor. As of early this afternoon, police were still working to identify the man The man found dead here at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre so they could notify his next of kin. They said they believe he is about 70 years old. A reminder, Mee Jung, these stranger attacks are believed to have been random and unprovoked. So, Ben, this was quite the dynamic arrest. It was Mee Jung. Somebody called 911 to report that man acting erratically on the south side of False Creek near Habitat Island. And police actually launched a drone from their Canby Street headquarters. They were able to get a visual on the suspect. And that was information was relayed to members of the emergency response team who went in and actually made the arrest. According to Chief Palmer, it was routine and went off without incident. Mee Jung? Ben Milger reporting live tonight from downtown Vancouver.